Calling themselves prisoners of peace, Von Braun's team settled in at the White Sands Missile Range where, using their war surplus V-2s, they began to establish America's first government-funded rocket program. Somewhere between 62 and 67 V-2s were launched from White Sands. None of these V-2s were designed to have a shelf life and they were starting to rust by the time that they were, they were firing them off there and, and uh, they put the WAC Corporal, which was an American-built rocket, they put that on top of it and created basically a two-stage vehicle. One went up to 244 miles. Despite government resistance to Von Braun's push to launch his V-2s above the atmosphere, the WAC Corporal eventually soared higher than NASA's Mercury astronauts would travel years later, sending back breathtaking high-altitude views of white sands and eventually the very first images of Earth from outer space. As often as he was allowed, Von Braun launched his dwindling supply of V-2s, all the while imploring Army brass and congressional leaders to invest in a real space program. It wasn't an easy pitch, given the political realities of the day. Nor was Von Braun's case helped by the occasional unforeseen incident. There was the legendary mishap where one of the V-2s went AWOL and attacked Mexico. The gyros failed and it flew over and almost hit the town of Juarez and left a 50-foot crater right outside the town. And that went all the way up to Eisenhower, that one, because it was essentially the first ICBM launched against another country. <laughs> There was no money. Von Braun was doing this with virtually no funding. Everybody was scaling down the military's funding. And uh, it was very difficult for them. And they were beginning to think that it was not worth their while, which is when Von Braun spent much of his time writing his book, Das Mars Project, uh, The Mars Project, which was about a man trip to Mars. He wrote most of that while he was incarcerated out there. Verna Von Braun eventually teamed up with the renowned artist Chesley Bonestell to ignite the public's imagination. In books, magazines, and some memorable TV specials, they painted bold images of our future among the stars. Von Braun was a genius at marketing and selling space, and you have to show people that this is a future that they could actually live to see if they're willing to support it. 